Hey guys, this is Dr. JTM, MD General Medicine and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and I know many of you are preparing for NISET and we all know a fact that approach towards NISET is completely different from the approach towards NEET exam. So instead of just blindly studying for NISET exam, let's look into how smart we can prepare for this NISET in order to get a seat. So five ways of preparing and understanding the pattern of MCQs and topics in NISET are Number one, AIMS generally focuses on the basics that is first prof and second prof subjects. We can expect a lot of MCQs coming from anatomy, by chemistry, physiology, microbiology, pharma and pathology. Not only just these subjects, there are certain topics from these particular subjects that initiate MCQs are being stressed. For example, from microbiology, mucormycosis, aspergillosis, sterilization techniques, zoonotic diseases, acid-first organisms related diseases and few others. Do not worry, I have made a list of topics from these subjects into a PDF and you can download that PDF from the link given below in the description. Go check out. Did you download it? Then what you have to do next is that you have to watch the video classes of all the topics. So you will get a core content concept very clear and you will be able to answer more and more MCQs from those set of topics. So where can you watch these videos? As many of you guys use Marrow, so Marrow rapid revision videos will be more than enough for these particular topics. And if you can't find those topics in the video lectures in the rapid revision, you can just go and study them in your own notes or Marrow notes. Number two, practicing MCQs. Again, the recent trend of initiate MCQs have changed a lot. They have been asking bigger and bigger clinical questions, match the following, association reason module type of questions and recent updates are being asked frequently. So you have to get used to these kind of MCQs in order to do well in the exam. So for that purpose, you have to practice at least 50 to 75 initiate pattern MCQs. So whichever platform you use, you have to practice 50 to 75 MCQs daily. But if you are using Marrow, then definitely it will be very easy for you because there is a custom module where you can use four hashtags. And these four hashtags will really help you practice the initiate trend MCQs. So these four hashtags will be aims, recent trends, instruments, clinical. So when you apply these in the custom modules, you'll be able to see the aims related questions and aims pattern questions which you practice more and more the more confident you will be and more rights you are going to make in the grand test and also in the final exam and also if you have aims previous year questions don't forget to practice them also daily till your exam day because you will be able to understand what kind of questions he is asking and how you can read the, that particular topic from your notes number three previous year topics do we have to study previous year topics for any set that will be a silly question yes hundred percent you have to study previous year topics because previous year topics questions will be coming for any set or at least the topics in and around will be asked. So what you have to do is collect the last three years in set papers and list out all the topics from the subject that you are studying and those topics should be completed after studying the topics that I have given above. So studying this way you will be in touch with the recent trend and you will also not forget the topics that you are studying and you will have higher chance of making rights in the MCQs. If you are not able to find the previous year in set question papers all the 200 questions then Marrow and Preplater have the previous year uh, recall question papers so you can go and check and list out all the topics that you have to study and also you have to practice. Number four, grand test. Do we have to do grand test? If so, how many grand tests we have to do? Yes, you have to do grand test and I suggest you have to do at least four initiate pattern grand test. See, for initiate, the way you approach towards grand test is completely different because not like need PG exam, you don't need to be so aggressive answering all the 200 questions. Be smart with initiate. In initiate, answer the maximum number of questions that you are confident in, but leave all the other questions which you are not confident because the ranks will be wearing very vast with the wrongs that you mark. There are two grand tests in Marrow which are based on previous year inset questions and also one national mock test in Marrow and there is also one national mock test free from prep ladder. So these four grand tests will really help you in your preparation for inset and these grand tests will be more than enough for you to be confident and go to the exam confidently. Number five, this is very very important point that you should note down. AIMS is very much likely to ask the questions which are ward posting based, which are ER casualty based, which is ICU based because AIMS generally targets those medicos who are doing internships in order to test their knowledge from the wards in order to test their observation skills. So he likes to ask the questions from ward based or ER or casualty based. So there are certain topics which you need to study or revise before going to exam which are related to these casualty ICU things. You must be wondering where we can find these topics right now at this peak stage. Don't worry I am here. I have made a list of topics from where these, ty these kind of MCQs are being asked like ward posting related or ICU based related. The list is ready and you can can download it from the description go prepare well and be cool and calm so these are the smart ways you can prepare for any set and if you work hard on these things then definitely you will get a rank of your satisfaction and if you think these tips really help you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel dr jtm and i'll be back with one more great video until then bye take care